Hi, this is uh, Kay Savitz, and I am going to play the last batch of uh, basic 10 line contest entries for the Atari 8-bit for the 2020 basic 10 liners contest. On uh, previous videos, I did the Extreme 256 category and the Pure 120 category. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do the uh, Pure 80 uh, category, that is 80 characters per line. This is the most restrictive category, shortest lines, uh, really the hardest category, uh, and really the fewest entries for the Atari anyway. Uh, actually, oh, across all the, all the platforms, it has the most entries with 86. But for the Atari, there's only four, so we're going to play those. And in the first two videos I did, for some reason, uh, the sound from the games didn't record. I don't know why. Um, supposed to, but it didn't. But you hear me. So, sorry. It's probably going to continue happening. Uh, so, okay, in the pure one, eight, the pure 80 category, uh, the top four entry, top four winning entries, uh, uh, winningest entries were for Commodore, Commodore 16, Commodore 16, Commodore 64. But the Atari comes in uh, it, the, with the number five, and uh, number five um, uh, fifth place winner, the game called Palisade. Um, so we are going to play that. All right, it's making a very intense woo -woo 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 noise, which you probably can't hear, but I can. Uh, I am controlling that little ball in the middle of the screen, and I think I'm trying, I think I'm trying to get, not get hit by the line by maybe fitting through the hole. I am bad at it. Ooh, I did it. I made it through the hole. Now I have to get, touch, touch, touch this thing. Uh, so I, I, I'm trying, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I s suppose I'm supposed to make it through the hole, the gap in the, in those lines. It's filling up fast and it's stressing me out. Now they're all going away. I'm not in control anymore. Oh, I see. They're the, mm. okay. I think I'm, I'm the ball and I'm supposed to touch that thing, the, the glowy bit, but the glowy bit moved, which I didn't notice before. So I have to get back to it, have to touch it again, perhaps. I have a one, so that's good. Maybe I got a point. Um, what can I tell you? Based on this, looks like it uses Antic Mode 4. Uh, every, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I don't get it. Sorry. Sorry, Palisade. I've tried, not sure what's going on, but the, the sound makes it real intense, which you probably couldn't hear, but imagine super intense. Wah, 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 sounds. Um, okay, uh, tying for number six with two Commodore 64 games was Journey to the something, to the G, to the Golden Mothership. Journey to the Golden Mothership. Uh, I am the purple little ship on the left, and... Looks like I'm trying to make it to the big ship, which is not golden. Little hard to control, a little uh, lunar landery in the control where you can you press a little with thrust and it starts sending you off in a direction. And then you keep going that direction until you change the thrust. Will hitting these dots kill me? Let's find out. I can't even hit a dot. Yeah, it's a little tricky to control. I like it though. I think I just stopped. I just died, I think. I think that was death when I hit the dots. Okay, so don't crash into the stars or whatever they are. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm going to go to these, this green, not gold mothership. Do I touch it anywhere? Do I have to go in the back? What do I do? What if I just crash into the side here? It went ding. It's happy with that. Oh, and now the mothership is a different color. And it's not coming up to me, so I have to go down there. Makes nice little thrusting sounds when I move. It goes. Psh, psh, psh. This is me pretending to make Atari pokey sounds. Psh, psh. Boop. Makes happy little boop. All right, so that's it. It looks like I'm. Oh, I just realized there's a timer thing at the top of the screen. It looks like the line's getting shorter. Just notice that. Ah, now it's blue. Maybe I'm supposed to do this until the mothership turns gold, and then that's the win. Seems like there's more dots to hit, to avoid. OK, 
Okay, well, <clears throat> ah, I think there's more dots than there were. Frankly, this is feeling a little repetitive now. Ah, it went pull as I hit the dot instead of the mothership. Okay, well, that's mildly amusing. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, so that was uh, tied for number six. And then there's a lot of Commodore and MSX and VIC-20 and, and Spectrum stuff. And then tied for number 35 is 10-liner Snake for Atari. Uh, let me find that. It's number 10 on the list. 10-liner Snake. Ah, uh, yes, the old chestnut snake game. You drive your snake around, try to eat the thing. You lose, press fire. Boo. Walk, drive around. Every time you eat a goodie, then your snake gets a little longer. And if you touch yourself or the walls, you die. And it's leaving obstacles around, I guess. The O's. Nice, all kind of fun. Nice little solid variant on the snake game. No sound on this one. So you're not missing anything. Slowing down kind of significantly as I as I get longer. Okay, so that was Ten Liner Snake. What else do we have here? There's one called Coronavirus. This is the fourth entry. Uh, uh, the fourth Atari entry in this category. It came in for number 56. Now, if you think that sounds bad, well, just remember there are 86 entries in this category, so not really that bad. Uh, coronavirus. Topical name. Uh, what am I doing? I am the little orange zero or O in the bottom right. And uh, I assume the little asterisks are viruses. Seems completely accurate. I have a timer. And now it stopped. Oh, I think I'm just supposed to get from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen, I guess. And while avoiding the viruses. So it's not that different from Wazers that I played earlier, I guess. Or a Frogger sort of game. I touched a virus. Boo. I'm in quarantine now. Okay, well, that's coronavirus. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so those are all the game entries for the uh, Atari 8-bit uh, in the Basic Ted Liners Contest 2020. Good job, people. A lot of fun. Um, I love to do this contest every year. I, I love to 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 enter the contest. Uh, some year, I mean, didn't do great this year, but didn't expect to. Um, but uh, I have done you know second place in previous years sometimes. Uh, I love to enter the contest, and I love to play the games and see what other amazing things people have created uh, in that uh, very limited programming space. Um, there was one other game on the Atari, which I'll, that I see in 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 the in the weird stuff category, um, called hacking the Atari, which is frankly not very interesting uh right password to find so we're going to do you have to write a password um and then then you hand it off to a friend who has to guess what the password is that's the entire program so yep hacking the atari <laughs> nice um all right that's it um, be sure to listen to Antic, the Atari 8-Bit Podcast, if you want to hear me uh, and my friends talk about Atari stuff. And uh, I do a lot of interviews with people uh, who did things with Ataris back in the day. That's all. Stay safe. Goodbye.